guys, and I'm the Wanderer's Notebook, and I'm coming to you from Lake Minnewanka. Welcome back, guys, to the On the Trail video series with today's video being all about the Stewart Canyon Trail located in the Lake Minnewanka area of Banff National Park. Um, what can I tell you about the Stewart Canyon Trail? It is a 1.5 kilometer one-way trip. So, making it a round trip, it's about 3, point, uh, three kilometers. And, if I haven't mentioned it already, I am at Lake Minnewanka, and it is the largest natural lake in Banff National Park. And as such, it actually has a town at the uh, bottom of the lake called Minnewanka Landing, which was which was flooded when they built a hydroelectric dam, I think sometime in the late 30s to mid-40s, I think. But yeah, yeah. so it's a very popular place for scuba divers, as there are remains of uh, the old town hotel. It's very fascinating, if you ask me. And as you can see, it is a wonderful and beautiful day to be out in Banff National Park, doing a hike, and I'm here with my mom, we dropped off some of her hand-knit stuff at Alberta's own in Camor, and we, then we decided to go for a hike, and here we are, and as you can see, it, the scenery is absolutely stunning from, from this vantage point, sorry about that, but look at the mountains and the lake that's just starting to unthaw from the winter, it's amazing, it's I just always have loved coming to Lake Minnewanka as it is one of those places that is always kind of a go-to place when you don't know what hikes you want to do in Banff. And seeing as the Stewart Canyon Trail is a trail where you can branch off and do more hiking from, such as going to Elmer Pass, Elmer Lookout, Devil's Gap, um... Yeah, it's quite the popular destination for backpackers as well. So, what I know of um, Devil's Gap is, I believe, 28.9 kilometers from the trailhead, just down, just, um, down from the service road at Minnewanka. But as you can see, it, there are some parts of the lake that are starting to unthaw. So that means that probably by mid-late June, we will see uh, the lake to be completely unthawed. And I'm pretty sure I know that uh, Bru Brewsters does do a boat tour of Minnewanka, so I'll leave their website down in the description for you guys to check out. Also, yeah, it's... Very beautiful today. I really enjoyed coming out to Minnewonka. It's one of my all-time favorite hikes when it comes to Banff. But I am going to try to do more hiking videos as you guys... I think you guys really enjoy the hiking videos. Yeah, I really enjoy doing hiking. It's a way to keep fit. It's a way to keep active. And it just makes you feel good because you're out in the great outdoors... You don't have anyone telling you what to do. You are kind of free, you know? It's really, really a bomb to the soul. You know, it's what I like about being able to... It's like three and a half, four hours from Red Deer to Banff. And just to realize that, yeah, we're just that far from a great place to uh, hike. It's fantastic. And it, anyways, here is Stewart Creek, which runs into Lake Minnewanka. And I think this is where I'm going to end this video. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe as I really appreciate you guys. And if you guys want to get out and explore and just enjoy nature, I would highly recommend coming out to Banff National Park and checking out the Lake Minnewanka area. And thanks for watching and bye for now.